hello in this system I show you two lines yellow line is at 125 degrees approximately corresponding to a set point red line correspond a process variable okay as you can watch they are in the same place because the system is getting control process variable and set point 1.5 degrees approximately as a year you watch here now the graph for the signal temperature without filter and this graph is for the signal filtering you watch here the parameters to get the control and the link to get the selling all the data and choose the actions from PWM okay but what I'm getting control from this code for this computer is to get control into this metal box there are a substrate holder which is heating from a thermal plate the temperature into these systems is approximately 125 degrees the system contains this thermal plate which by will effect this is a resistor electric resist transfer heat to this substrate holder which will work into a high vacuum where mm, manufactured semiconductor films by sputtering process but this system is a prototype to test the parameters obtained in this code okay the temperature is monitor monitored with this thermocouple some thermocouple like this is into the system okay now there is a supply which transfer in DC current and voltage this is the control circuit into this circuit there are a solid state relay which get action between the electrical red and the code which is working into the computer to get control actions to this plant which contain the thermocouple and the thermal plate and the substrate holder to get the control temperature control okay but how can get the control the parameters from the control okay this is the transfer function for the substrate holder which was obtained experimentally this is the rep representations for the substrate holder and by experience I obtained four curves specifically four lines by statical behavior between the temperature increasing the percent of PWM signal okay but for this curve by dynamic behavior it's so easy obtain a graphical between the time 
and temperature to get dynamical behavior by 2% PWM for this experience and increasing to 10%. And in this line, it's so easy obtain the transfer functions. This is the value of the transfer functions which I obtained. Now, by Seeger and Nichols, you can calculate the parameters for the control. I choose work with PI control. Why? Because I said in many articles, think how him, when you are working with temperature systems, the temperature has not quickly changed. For this reason, it's not necessary to use the derivative actions. Now I'm working with PI controller. Okay? And I expected this behavior. By a set point at 125 degrees temperature, respect time, I inspected this behavior. Now we are contrasting with experience. Okay. Yellow line, remember, is the set point. Red line is the process variable. As you can watch, there is in control. Okay. The control values and the signal without filter. Now I'm going to explain so quickly about the code. As you can watch. This is the code. I'm working with natural instrument DAC USB 6008. Okay, the signal go to this DAC acquisition card and is processing well, by a little filter, low pass filter. The signal is made is obtained by a thermocouple because we are measuring temperature. Why I'm choosing a low pass filter? Because, as said in articles, uh, the professor Bolaños from Cauca University from Colombia, he obtained by experience that when you are working with a sputtering process, there are noise in high frequency. For the reasons, I inspect working with a filter for this code these systems will get good performance to avoid this noise and especially to avoid disturbance okay now the signal go for this PID obtained by LabVIEW because I'm working with LabVIEW as a platform now finally which the control values obtain that signal to get the control actions now you can choose here the values for the PWM. Why I working with a external elect um, electronic circuit? Because my DAC acquisition card has not enough counters, and my ports will working with another applications. For the reasons I decided obtain it uh, PWM actions from another circuit. I'm going to return to the front panel. Looking set point and process variable. The error is approximately 1.5 degrees. Yellow line is set point, red line is the process variable. And finally, you can watch the control. Okay, thank you so much, see you.